Hey everybody, welcome back to New Suicide, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Now, um, initially when I was talking about the Chadwick Boseman news, the sad Chadwick Boseman news of his passing, um, I didn't really want to keep going about it, but it, it seems like we keep getting revelations about his conditions and um, what people knew about his condition, if people knew about his condition there, um, if anything. Um, and I really wanted to address this because I just honestly, I am just surprised at like the news that we're getting and I'm still a little shocked, you know, and I'm in that state where I don't want to believe that this actor is gone because it is shocking whenever we lose someone that we look up to where we, we, we become like, we're just in like in this emotional state that there's a lot of mixed emotions involved like there's denial anger sadness and it's it's it all boils down and and it becomes overbearing and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean you know it's overbearing because it's just a lot of emotions and i'm at a loss for words literally so actually reading this article that i have presented to you right in front of your screen um it shook it, like it really shook me and uh it it kind of broke my heart a little bit because um, it was sad to find out that actually a lot of people from Disney and Marvel Studios, even Kevin Feige, didn't even know of his condition at all until um, the day of his passing. Like literally an hour later after his passing, I think Kevin Feige found out of his passing. And uh, it's just... It's really, really upsetting and shocking at the same time. And um, I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you right now. So Chadwick Boseman was going to start Black Panther 2 prep this month. And I'll get to the part where like it's heartbreaking, but let's go ahead and begin with this article. Days after the world lost Chadwick Boseman, tributes continue to pour in for the late actor. News that Bozeman had been privately battling colon cancer for the last four years certainly blindsided us all. Regardless, the fact that he kept working shows how committed he was so uplifting to black voices on the big screen. Bozeman was next slated to reprise his instantly iconic role as King T'Challa in Black Panther 2. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, he was com confident that he'd sit on Wakanda's throne once again. Fans actually began expressing concern for Bozeman's well-being earlier this year after the actor posted on Instagram video of himself where he, he appeared to have lost a considerable amount of weight. Y'all remember that photo. Everybody was concerned, actually. And we all had the right to be concerned because we were worried and we didn't know what was going on. Personally, me, I believed he was actually preparing for a role. And I kind of figured actors do this all the time where they go through a dramatic weight loss or weight gain or muscle growth uh, for a role. But we just never knew. We were totally blindsided. So we know we now know that this was likely a result of chemotherapy and other treatments for his illnesses. Uh, but even though the last few months presented with him with new struggles, Bozeman remained optimistic until the very end. In fact, one of THR's sources claims that he was convinced that he'd beat the disease. He even planned on using September to bulk up for Black Panther 2, which was eyeing a March state date, uh, start date. Excuse me. It wasn't until about a week before his death that he began to accept that his time on Earth was coming to an end. Now, that's the part that's really heartbreaking to me because there's nothing wrong with, you know, being optimistic. But the part that's heartbreaking is when you realize what your fate truly is and you realize that you know it's the end for yourself. And um, you just kind of cast all that optimism aside and accept your fate. And that part... Like, as I read that last part of that paragraph, I imagine Chadwick Boseman just um, accepting it and just giving up and casting his optimism. And it is hard for me to uh, process this because I cannot even fathom or imagine what a cancer patient goes through. And then when that time comes, that inevitable moment, you know, because you're terminally ill. That moment comes when you accept the end. 
I, it must be a whole lot of weight on your shoulders when it comes to that moment. And that's the part that really, really broke me here. So moving on with the article, the report also confirms that Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige didn't even know about Bozeman's illness until his family announced his passing last Friday. Feige actually received an email from Bozeman's team informing him of the actor's condition an hour before he died. But by the time Feige checked his inbox, Bozeman was already gone. Feige's lack of awareness might come as a surprise to some. However, as film finance attorney Shuler Moore notes, major studios don't need to have their actors medically examined before a shoot, even for insurance purposes. Big studios don't often get com completion bonds, Moore told THR. They are more prevalent in the indie filmmaking world. Sometimes the big studios will look to insure for a particular actor, but they usually have a particular reason for doing so. Otherwise, studios will just shoulder the risk of sickness or death. At some point, Disney and Marvel will have to figure out how to proceed with their Black Panther sequel without the film's leading man. However, this conversation can wait as Hollywood continues to mourn the loss of one of the brightest stars. So you can share your thoughts on the latest Chadwick Boseman news in the comment section below if you want. Now, it is pretty sad that like no studios uh, would go out of the way to ensure their actors uh, to even check on the well-being of their actors because you never know what sicknesses or diseases can be lingering in your body before filming a role. I mean, it's never too late to do a checkup. Um, I do my check, uh, checkups personally annually uh, with my doctor and it's just never, it's never too late. You know, you, you never know. You may catch something that's been lingering in your body for quite some time. So um, it, it, to me, it's kind of like shocking and and not surprising and surprising at the same time that these studios won't go out of the way to check the well-being of their actors while before filming a role and they just don't even consider it um but i guess i can say i'm rather flabbergasted that they don't do that but i just wanted to bring this to your attention um guys uh how extremely optimistic and uh confident chadwick boson was I mean, I don't need to like tell you this because from what we found out after his death, he really was a true fighter. He really went out of his way to get his movies done in between invasive and long surgeries uh, for his colon cancer. He really did go out of his way to get these movies done. And uh, the guy was proud of it and he worked really hard and he had a really a true passion and his acting was so profound and um uh, you know truly unparalleled to uh, <laughs> to compared to a lot of like other actors that you see that play legendary icons such as like you know uh Jackie Robinson and James Brown and and now Black Panther and stuff like that so i really wanted to bring this um to your attention and just let you know that as it turns out like not even Kevin Feige the head of Marvel Studios and everything Marvel didn't even know. He literally found out an hour after his death in his inbox. So I thought, like, personally, I thought it was just, like, some of the people at Marvel Studios and his family only knew about it, but he never told his co-stars or anything like that. Um, he just didn't want to be, I guess, pigeon-held. And because, you know, a lot of fans really um, view actors and they hold them to these high standards and they have high expectations of them. So if he were to actually announce to the world that he was diagnosed with cancer like four years ago, um, he was probably afraid that people would just hold him to that. And like they would look at him toward, you know, as a cancer patient, they, they would feel sorry for them. But he didn't want their pity. He wanted people to recognize him for his work. And he rightfully did so. And he had the right to his privacy. So, um that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, you let me know your thoughts down below, comment down below. And uh, with all that being said, thank you all guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> I'll be doing live streams daily. Again, I'm actually trying to do live streams every, almost every day, uh, starting between 8.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, aside from that, once again, rest in power. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, the king. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.